Hi there crafters, this is Julia for the Alleyway Stamps with a fun and easy card for you today. My focus today is on copy coloring, but what I want to do with this super cute bird from the Alleyway Stamps is to just have fun. I know that a lot of us feel that we need to practice a lot to get perfect at um, coloring or to get better at copy coloring. And I feel that this oftentimes makes us forget that this is something that we should do just for fun. Because um, of course we want to get better, of course we want our coloring to be as awesome as the coloring of a crafter that we admire, but this should also be fun. Like you should just get out your stuff and have fun without the pressure at the back of your head of, oh no, I need needs to be perfect for this challenge, It needs I need to practice, um, this is a practice piece and I need to consider light source and this and that. Just have fun, just color however you like and I think you'll be amazed um, to see how much fun you will have and that you can still learn quite a bit if you just decide to color for fun instead of you know, getting out instructions and trying to learn a specific technique. That is what I'm doing today. I basically got out colors. I looked at the um, the Copic color chart from Sandy Almock because it's she, um, well, her chart makes me understand better which colors will work together because I understand the basic coloring principles or blending principles, but her chart really makes it easy to pick out colors that you wouldn't usually pick. And I decided to color in this bird in a bunch of different colors. And as you can see me do here, there's not a whole lot of science on uh, um, to this. I simply grab a dark, a mid-tone and a light color and then I blend them together. I don't worry about light source, I don't worry about color that this is perfect, about contrasts or highlights or shadows. I simply try to mix the colors together that I think would look good. That's all I'm doing. And it was fun. It was really fun. Just for fun. I finished coloring the bird and I stamped this branch um, there. I had masked off his feet so they would not be covered by this branch. And then I'm stamping my sentiment. And I think that makes it clear why I colored this little guy in all these different colors. And um, I thought I was kind of done, but then I realized, hey, I need some more action on this card. So I grabbed the same Copic markers that I had used to color in the bird to lay down some of my, as you guys call it, signature dots in the same colors as I did on the bird. I also used the same progression of color from red uh, towards yellow, green, and then purple. And I think it turned out really well on this card. And again, this was just for fun. Like I don't have a like an agenda here. I'm not worried about certain layouts and whatever. I'm just doing this for fun. And I want to encourage you to get your images out, stamp them, and simply have fun. Lots of fun. Now, I thought that the branch was kind of okay, but once it had like the ink had dried, this uh, which with with which I had stamped it, I decided this looked kind of bland. So I grabbed some brown Copic markers, and I don't have a lot of experience like coloring in trees or branches, so I simply grabbed a dark, a midtone, and a light one, put on the dark first, and then put down the midtone. You can see me do this here, and then I'm going to grab my lightest color once I have uh, put down the mid-tone color here, and then I'm going to fill this in, coloring inside this or on top of the stamped image. And it will give me a subtle gradient, nothing fancy, nothing, you know, no texture, no nothing. It's simply a gradient that I did, and I had fun doing it. Now this is a one-layer copy card, and the paper that I used bled through to the other side. As far as I know, there's only the Simon Says Stamp um, ultra-heavy paper that will not bleed through. But I want to use the cheaper paper that I have as well that I can get here in Germany. So I simply cut down a piece of paper, same cardstock, to a little bit smaller than four and a half by five and a quarter. No, four and a, four and a quarter and five and a half. Sorry, that was my phone. And um, I glued it to the inside of the card. And look at this. One layer copy card. I cheated. But hey, I was happy to do that. So here I added some pearls on top of my bird simply to make it, you know, just to add some dimension to it. I actually also added some stickles to the white rim of his hat as well, but I didn't show this here in the card. It was an afterthought. And here you can see that in the close-up. You can see that I, by accident, got really nice shading on the branch as well. So this is really a, a card just for fun. And you can see that you, you can turn your fun coloring into a card, but you don't have to. So I hope you got inspired to just grab your images and start coloring. And 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.